What is up guys, my name is Anime Lover Shihai and welcome back to another video. Now today's video we're doing something a little bit different. Today we have here the Dragon Ball Z Crystal Ball set. Now if this is came straight from Japan. I was very lucky to buy it here from the States. Originally there's this guy in the flea market who was selling it for $25, but I was very lucky to get it for only $15. So on the front we have here Dragon Ball Z Crystal Ball set. It has the original Dragon Ball Z logo. And up front you do see Goku, Teen Goku, Goku from Dragon, uh, from Super Saiyan Goku, and Dragon, Super Saiyan 3, ooh. Super Saiyan 3, Goku. The only thing I can see that is English is Dragon Ball Z Crystal Ball. And if you look very closely up here, it does say Bandai 2006, made in China. China, and this is a Japanese product. I, I don't understand how that works, but either way, I'm just going to go with it. Focus. Okay, we have here this the order of the Dragon Ball. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. It's really nice how they put an order like that. And also with this, kind of looks like it's glowing to summon the, Shen, the dragon. And if you look to the side of here, this is the left side of it. Focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, we have here Gogeta and the dragon from Dragon Ball GT. This is supposedly Shenron. This is from the Black Star Dragon Ball. And we look to the back. We have here the barcode. And these are 3.5 centimeters in diameter and times that by 7. So 7 3.5 centimeter Dragon Balls. And here, focus, focus. Is it focused? I'm going to start it one more time. There we go. We have here the Battle Damage Vegeta. It's really nice. It's, this is from, I believe, the Cell Saga. And looking at the bottom... Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> we have more Japanese writings. And I believe this thing is supposedly saying do not consume. Or else you're going to die. It's just going to close up in your neck, in your throat. Let's open this up. But before I open it up, I just want to point out this is a really nice box. It has this nice uh, feeling to it, kind of like the uh, fuller things you have on Pokemon cards. It has that texture. It's a nice braille feeling. It's very satisfying to feel. And this is all um, held together by some magnets. As you can see, it'll click back in when you open it and let go. Now, now the box is great and all, but that's not why we're here. We're here to see what's inside the box. So open it up, and here you oh whoa, here you are. Seven beautiful Dragon Balls. Oh, I'm trying to put this all in here, and they they reflect light very beautifully. Just wow, just seeing all this. This I'll choose a one star ball to show you guys how it is. Oh, I didn't mean to close it that hard. Focus. Okay, this is the one star ball. It's really nice, and as much as it looks very 2D, it's not. If you twist it right here, I'm going to give you a closer look at it. You can kind of see it kind of floats in the middle. That's because this is only half of the hemisphere. So what they do is, this isn't really a crystal ball. It's made out of a resin a catalyst. So what they do is, they create the first half, and while it's still curing, they add this... Uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but... It kind of looks like it's mountaining up a bit to form the star. Like they use a uh, piece of plastic, and they'll put it in the next uh, half. And there's, I think there's a scratch mark right here. Uh, and you can kind of see how it reflects a bit, and it is upside down. You can see the Dragon Ball Crystal Ball set right here, and it says it really. You can see on it upside down Dragon Ball Crystal Ball set. It's, it's really nice. All right, well. And also, since uh, it's all made out of this catalyst, focus, it's very, you can hear the, the sound. It sounds kind of like a marble when you drop it. It sounds really nice. And you can mix it up. Now, this is pretty costly because this isn't the only size it has. These are 3.5 centimeters in diameter. 
And there's some that are actually even bigger. There's actually some that are actually life size or even about the size of, I want to say, bigger than a ping pong ball, but smaller than a soccer ball. That's how big it can get up to. And they're like beefy. Like I, I can hardly hold it in my hands. Now I don't have it because it's quite expensive. I believe the real life size, life, life size one is about 60 bucks. So having these nice 3.5 centimeter ones in diameter, it's really nice in the hand. And I can use these in future challenges if I want to on my channel, which I'm not really sure about that yet because everything has to be anime themed. So I have to figure out what I can do with these. And again, I will not be, and for the first time I mean, I will not be showing any Pokemon videos on my channel. As much as it falls into the anime format, it's just something I will never show on my channel. You can see all that on my sister's channels. Links in the down description. Links in the description below. But yeah, I'm quite satisfied with this. But it's not best for cosplaying. I do have a, a similar set like this, but it's more of a bouncy ball. Here, I'll show you that right now, actually. I do have it on me. <clears throat> now, I did lose three of them. But uh, I have what's left, and I can just ask somebody if they have it online on uh, eBay. So, same thing. But the only difference is, you don't have Gogeta, you have Vegeta from season 8 to 9. Over here, it's not Gogeta. It's Super Saiyan Goku of Shenron. Oh yeah, and the, the whole barcode is different. What else? This is also the same? Yes, this also says Made in China. Same thing on top, but different on the bottom. Focus. And you can barely see the character of Goku. You can see very, very vaguely. I'm not going to show you the bottom, because there's really no point. It's literally the same thing on the bottom. So let's open this one up and see how it is. It's very light with the uh, magnet. So I'm going to show you the 6 star ball because it's the most accurate out of the whole Dragon Balls I have. So looking at it, it looks pretty nice. You can kind of see how it's kind of golden over here. It's, there's like this weird golden glow into the ball. I can't really show it on camera, come on. But it's kind of scratched up inside the ball. But by the looks of it, it's a bouncy ball. And I'm supposed, I'm guessing right here, it would say China? Yeah, right here. Focus. Whoa! Everything's starting to fall. Everything's starting to fall. I think I had it. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Right here, it says China. There you are. Since it's made in China, these are more of a knockoff. So make sure, if you guys are planning to buy the, a Dragon Ball set, make sure you have the one that has more of that braille feeling to the box, and it's very strong with the magnet. I mean, it's like they use neodymium magnets, but not that strong ones. But they're semi-strong. But yeah, that's all I can say for this video. Well, I hope you guys really do enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. And if you guys want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit the next video or the previous video. And if you really want to consider seeing more of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you guys know when I upload future videos. And here's a little thing, you guys. If you comment to my videos, I'll be commenting back after the first 15 minutes of every upload. And I'll randomly select a comment. And I'll display it on the next video. Other than that... I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm anime lover Shihan. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then.